to watch. Well, Derek, over the years, he's scored so many goals. It's his ability to come short and then spin in behind defenders at such pace. When the ball's played in behind, nobody catches it, and he often gets 1v1 against the goalkeeper, and we know what the result is. in English football, the Amex Stadium on the South Coast. My name is Derek Ray, and sitting alongside me, ready to provide all the analysis, is Stuart Robson. And it's all about action from the Premier League in this case. It's Brighton and Hove Albion taking on Liverpool. Well, Derek, we can talk about coaches and their methods, but it's now down to the players. Which ones are going to stand out, who will affect the game, and who will have the greater desire? It should be a cracking game, though. So well to deny him. And this is how the hosts will begin the game today. Well, in this 4-5-1 shape, it will be interesting to see how close the wide midfield players get to their main striker. Will they stay wide or play through the inside right and inside left positions? We'll have to wait to see how it develops. Salah! Determined defending. Now sending it in. Really vital interception here. And Sufati. Well, I think, Stuart, you have to feel for any defender charged with the task of keeping Mo Salah quiet. He can be fantastic to watch. Well, Derek, he's the perfect finisher. He's got a great shot on him. His movement is excellent. And in 1v1 situations, you always expect him to score. Virgil van Dijk. Now with Alexander Arnold. And a goal! They start as they need to continue. They make the opening statement. Well, as you can see, what a good bit of play this is. The build-up is excellent, one and two touch passing, clever movement and a fairly simple finish. Great team goal. Well, it's a big moment for him. Just needs to get his players refocused now. Goal for Liverpool. The ball is moving once more. How important will that opening goal prove to be? He read the situation defensively and did his job. Andrew Robertson. Virgil van Dijk. Into the advanced position. And it's Salah with the cross. Oh, great header. Smart stop, though. Mikoma. It's very effective. Good high pressing. Salah. Just the challenge that was required. Well, they might be able to launch a counter attack. And intercepted it. he was hoping for with that shot close though Brighton couldn't keep it Mo Salah. And passing it well. 
and they deal with the threat this time. Yes, again, just couldn't seem to maintain possession. That was almost the ideal pass, but out of play it goes. to deliver it accurately no nonsense clearance Jota Salah teammates in the middle well making contact with the ball but couldn't quite keep his header down Time fast approaching with Liverpool on top. Stuart, your thoughts on what you've seen from them? Yes, they've defended really well all over the pitch. Their work rate and discipline has been excellent. But any drop in tempo and this lead could easily slip away. A oh, nice ball over the top. Oh, last ditch defending at its very finest. Billy Gilmore. And there it is, the half-time whistle. The first half action is over here on the South Coast. Well, he often grabs the headlines, and Mo Salah has been a big... Well, underway once more, and it's going to be fascinating to see what developments occur in the second half. of defending Trent Alexander-Arnold well this is the home of my football EA TV and we have more action coming up from the Premier League for you it's Brighton and Hove Albion facing Manchester City Great read there to intercept. And he's broken free. It has to be, surely. And it's in for Liverpool. Is there a way back for the opposition now? Well, it's a goal you'd expect him to score, but he kept his cool and he put it away nicely. He'll be happy with that. Well, no wonder he's delighted. They're bossing the game now. 2-0 now and back underway. 
Ansu Fati. It's with Welbeck. Pascal Gross. Well, very effective play in possession. Well, nothing comes of it. It looked promising. I'm delighted to say more Premier League action coming up for you here on EA TV. It's Liverpool facing Everton. Salah! I'll tell you what, I didn't miss by much. Substitution then. Let's see how it affects the match. Number six. Well, those stats tell you everything. Liverpool have been excellent, and unless something changes, this could get embarrassing. Nice looking pass, and taken away from Salah. <laughs> Pascal Gross Milner on to Gross oh, good use of the ball March. well not cleared away completely no defensive resilience there Jan Paul van Hecke and they have possession again. Ball retention so important. Lamptey. Can he find the right pass? Could be threatening. Fifteen minutes remaining. With the owner of the silver hatchback with the license plate GR55 JKK, please contact the nearest security guard. Thank you. Conate. Van Dijk with it. Ryan Grafenberg. Ibrahima Conate. Virgil van Dijk. Conate. Here's Robertson. Intercepting it intelligently. Well, this match ebbing away, but not quite in the books just yet. Liverpool desperately want the win. Stuart, interested in your critique of their performance. Well, it's been a really good contest, you have to say. But overall, I think they've just about deserved to be in the lead here. Can they now just see this game through for what will be an excellent win? Well, with five minutes remaining and just one goal between them, still the prospect of late excitement in this match. Dunk. And now with Estupinian. Paolo Mikoma. Milner. On to Estupinian. Well, still pushing forward. It's a matter of whether or not they can come up with an equaliser. Well, back in the middle. Nicely saved. A corner then, and with time running out, they've got to ask questions. And there's the, the delivery. Well, couldn't the get it past that first defender. Added time. Wataru Endo. He's made headway. Superb chance.
again. To pick out this pass shows wonderful vision. It's inch perfect, and the finish is so clever. He just gets his toe under the ball and dinks it over the keeper. That's a lovely goal. And that is all for this game anyway. It goes into the books as a victory for Liverpool. Well, fairly comfortable in the end, wasn't it? Thought they controlled the middle of the park well. Going forward, there's some really nice, incisive play to them. It's a good result for them. Well, this man has given us plenty of reasons to dwell on his performance, hasn't he, Stuart? Well, he gave that back line a torrid time, didn't he? He was far too sharp for them, always looking to play on the shoulder. Took his goals well, too. Clearly the difference maker today.